Well, robocalls are annoying, and as we know, they can also be relentless. Yeah. And Linda has some advice on how to stop at least some of them. <laughs> some being the key here. This is a bit like a game of whack-a-mole. A new telemarketer pops up every day. Sometimes it's a person on the other end of the line, but often it's a robocall, a machine with a pre-recorded message. There has been a crackdown on robocalls recently, but many are still getting through. There are some things you can do to try to stop them. Hello? Pamela Martin is fed up. So when I hang up on them, they call right back. She's being bombarded by robocalls day and night. Richard Berman says he's tried to stop phone solicitations like these for years. Our warranty specialists are standing by and will take just a few minutes to quote you coverage and give you the peace of mind you deserve. We were getting about uh, three or four calls a week on our landline. We called the Do Not Call Registry, and that has cut it down to almost none. However, I'm still getting two or three a week on my cell phone. It's really very annoying. Richard plans to add his cell phone to the Do Not Call Registry. It's easy to do. Just log on to the CRTC's website and find the Do Not Call list. You can register a home phone, cell phone, or fax machine line. You have to re-register every six years. But some brazen telemarketers may still contact you anyway. The problem is that enforcing the rules on unwanted marketing calls is tough. Some unethical companies go ahead and call you anyway, even if you're on the Do Not Call Registry. To help limit robocalls, hang up and don't press any buttons when directed to. If you do, the auto dialer registers that a real person answered and may keep calling. If consumers respond by pressing a number one or pressing two to be removed from the list, they could just be letting that robocaller know that theirs is a working phone number. If you have caller ID on your phone, you can report the robocaller's number to the do not call list. They can be fined up to $15,000 per violation. Even if you register your number, calls from charities and political parties will still get through. You could ask them to mail their request to you, and they may just comply. So the Do Not Call Registry works to block some callers, but unfortunately not all callers. You can cut out a lot of the domestic telemarketers by registering, but the ones based overseas, they don't care about Canada's Do Not Call Registry, and they ignore it all the time. Okay, some information I didn't know. Linda, just during that story, showed me how to block a call or a number on your iPhone. Go to Recents. If there's a call, a number that comes in all the time, you're like, Arr! go to the little I on the right-hand side, click it, scroll right down, and there's a thing that says, block this caller, ding, And done. you're laughing. And it's gone, yeah. Okay, you mentioned that the overseas callers can get through sometimes. Is there anything the government do can do to actually block those? There is. It's actually trying. The CRTC has imposed millions of dollars in fines over the past five years. Problem is, it has to find these companies first. Most of them use something called call spoofing technology to disguise the actual number they're calling from, making it impossible to track them down. Frustrating stuff.